It's calving season for moose, and the little ones are wasting no time enjoying <laughs> life. Alaska State Wildlife Biologists estimate 120,000 moose calves will be born by early June. Yeah, these twins playing under the watchful eye of mom. This is in the Eagle River area. Moose tend to calve within a two to three week period, so be sure to uh, watch out for those protective mamas. Although in this case, looks like she's just trying to get a little moment <laughs> to get a little snack, and they're like, mom, look at me, look at me, look at me. She's like, calm down back there. <laughs> so sweet. We've got the trees alive. We've got the bear cubs, the moose calves. Now, if we can just have an extended stretch of sunshine, mm -hmm. uh, that certainly would be nice. Unfortunately, today we do have those gray skies and some rain uh, in the forecast. In fact, we continue to see this wet stretch of weather. Uh, May as a whole, we are ending uh, the month or currently sitting with a month at nearly a half an inch above where we should be for the month as a whole. And um, we're currently sitting just outside the 10th wettest start to a year. And I'll go ahead and tell you, as we close out May and welcome in June, the trend continues to favor uh, wetter weather across not only south, central, and southeast, but much of the state uh, as a whole. This also means a bit more cloud coverage. In fact, uh, as we close out this week and welcome in next week, be prepared for uh, those overcast skies to likely linger uh, for several days. Waking up this morning, 41 in McGrath, 36 in Kotzebue, out towards the Aleutians, highs in the 30s and the 40s. And then you can see out towards southeast, we do have those temperatures already beginning to warm near 50 degrees. We are, uh, continue to see some shower potential uh, through south central. We're watching some of that showery weather for southeast. And of course, we do have a frontal boundary uh, that's beginning to uh, build uh, eastward across the uh, Lucians as well as uh, Lake and Peninsula. This will continue to keep uh, the chance for some increasing clouds with us as we head throughout the day and, and that shower chance uh, through at least the afternoon hours. As far as that rainfall, you can see most of it uh, really favoring western parts of the Susitna Valley. Elsewhere, we just got some isolated to scattered activity. And again, be prepared for that uh, for at least the first half of the day with the latter half of today uh, drying out with some peaks of sunshine in the forecast. Now, we will be on the cooler side. We're going to see those highs today in the mid to upper 50s. Some locations will stay in the lower 50s today uh, as we continue to hold on to these cloudier conditions. So by this afternoon, things begin to dry out across uh, south central. You can see coastal regions will continue to hold on to that chance for some rain. Uh, as we welcome in our Thursday, expect to see partly cloudy skies. And then as we close out this week and welcome in the weekend, this wet weather pattern staying with us, although really favoring the Gulf Coast region as well as out towards southeast. By Friday morning, we're talking about widespread rain uh, returning to the panhandle. So for today, again, rain tapers off by afternoon and then into the evening hours, we should begin to see some of those clouds breaking uh, away with some peaks of sunshine uh, beaming down. That's where we're going to see that better potential for those temperatures to warm into the mid to upper 50s. So isolated showers today across southeast with temperatures in the 50s. Across south central, we do have that chance for showers staying with us. Cooler in Kodiak at 49 degrees. Elsewhere, we're going to see those temperatures warming uh, into the 50s. Even cooler for Prince William Sound in the lower 50s. And we're going to be watching for some breezy conditions developing later this afternoon into the evening hours. Gusts to 35 miles per hour could be expected uh, for Golcana into the valley. Uh, this will be our better shot of seeing those temperatures warming near 60 degrees today. If that doesn't occur, we will have several more opportunities as we close out this week and welcome in next week. 57 in Anchorage, 52 in Girdwood. Uh, there's that sunshine returning for our Thursday and the first part of Friday. And then as we welcome in the weekend and next week, those overcast skies do make a return, but you can see a stretch, at least a four-day stretch of seeing those temperatures. In the 60s. All right, maybe we'll get a redo in June and get some actual sunshine. <laughs> It'd be nice. <laughs> All right, thanks, Aaron.